Greetings and welcome to a follow-up to the Spectralizer installation video that I uploaded around about a month back. Firstly, I want to say thanks to everybody that subscribed to my channel from that video. It's really appreciated. And if you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, well, that'd be pretty nice of you. For many of you, my instructions work fine, but there were a handful of people that I feel I need to apologize to. Sorry. You see, in that video, I said this. This video is going to show you how to install Spectralizer for OBS on the Mac, start to finish, no problems, because that's the kind of guy I am. So although I actually thought my instructions were bomb-proof, that wasn't exactly true depending on your Mac settings. People have been reaching out to me from across the globe asking for support. It's been crazy. Why, why, why am I talking like that? The first step is when you actually download Spectralizer from the OBS website, make sure it's fully unzipped. So that folder that's on your desktop is called Spectralizer. Nothing else, just Spectralizer. And within that is the installation files. You see, it's all about file management. When you're in terminal and you put the command CD space desktop slash spectralizer, that is telling terminal to go into that folder to look at that folder alone. Now, if your files have unzipped a little bit funny and you've got a folder on your desktop called Spectralizer, but then within that, there's another folder called Spectralizer zip and your files sit within that, isn't gonna work. Okay, step two. Security. We gotta have it. We gotta have security. But the only problem is, is security gets in the way of installing Spectralizer. Disable your firewall. Yeah? Step three is to enable third-party app installation. So one, make sure your file management's right. Two, disable your firewall. And three, enable third-party app installation. At that point, go back to your terminal do your commands as per my original video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link up here. I think it's up there. Does it go there? I'm not sure. Follow the instructions again in that video and see how you get on. Now, I'm not saying this is going to work 100%. And if it doesn't, if I'm honest with you, I haven't got a Scooby-Doo. No. No, no, not you. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you found it super useful, please hit that subscribe button for future uploads. And who knows, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye then. Oh, just one other thing. Once you've finished the installation, don't forget to reactivate all your security settings.